it's important to think about the relative sizes within biology because often we'll see ourselves spending time at such a small level, such a microscopic level, it becomes hard to relate it to what we're learning. So atoms are super, super tiny. There's no way we could see those with the naked eye. We can't even see it under a light microscope. Even when we put 60 or so atoms together, we still can't see that under a light microscope. And even if we look at the macromolecules, which is a lot of what we're going to be spending this course on, we still can't see those. It's not until we start looking at mitochondria and bacteria that we can start even seeing those things under a light microscope. Above the level of bacteria, we can see red blood cells. They're not that much bigger because they don't have many of the components inside them that most of our cells have. But when we get up to the level of our animal cells or plant cells, we can see that there's much more complexity in them, some of which you can even see under a light microscope. It's not until we get up to the level of a frog egg that we could even see this with the naked eye. You just completed your first video of the world's best medical exam preparation. Lecturio brings the knowledge of worldwide leading medical experts and teaching award winners to your PC, tablet, or smartphone. Prepare yourself and check your progress with thousands of quiz questions, customized to US MLE standards. And the very best, you can get in touch with our medical experts personally. Visit Lecturio.com now and continue with the most inspiring medical education around the globe, anytime, anywhere.